And I guess I'll go this way, where there's no path. Unless you remember this. Sepula. Okay, let's go deal with. Uh, yeah, I want to put it back up. Okay. Which is annoying. I'm qualified to work this here bridge. Don't you even worry about it, son of Jim. In fact, questioning my competency could put your job at risk. This looks suspiciously like a boss fountain. Like a fountain of bosses. Just flubberlating out. Oh, it's even got a typewriter for me to take notes. I'm good, thanks. Just in case I happen to have an ink ribbon in my back pocket. That's bananas! Okay, this is cool. What kind of place is this? Is this like an underground train track? What is this place? Parasite Eve, they had underground roads. That's cool, I guess. Okay, so for the longest time, I didn't know this was anything. It's a high pressure gas cylinder. In the case of an emergency, the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed. Uh, it's an oblong bob, and uh, I didn't know that was a thing after many, many years of playing this game until I read the SD Perry novel. And Leon does what I'm about to do. And I was like, oh, that sounds like shit the author made up. And then I was like, wait, though. Then I went in there and I was like, what? This is assuming I'm about. Yeah, this is. Scenario one, I'm about to Sherry! do this. Here we go. Okay, look. You can unload a lot of ammo into that face. Or you can just walk away. Hey man, I read the novelization. Well, he's faster than I thought it was. I was trying to be able to talk to shit. So I know that's there. Just knock that down and then just sort of wait for him to come on the screen. Come on, man. And then just see you later, alligator. Not for a while, crocodile. And his whole head's all flippy flopped off. I felt lied to by myself when I realized that that was a real thing. <sighs> Dang green the liar. Safety lock device for use in case of an emergency. Will you release the electronic lock? Always. We don't have emergencies here. Dumping area B2. Wait until you see A1. Alright. Oh, Sherry. Sherry. Oh, your dad is back. But he's already implanted you. Why does he need to get you again? Wake up, Sherry. I do like the sense of urgency it creates, though, because you're like, oh, <laughs> oh my god. You're like, I gotta get this fucking kid out of here, man. And right now, I don't know anything's wrong with her. My stomach. Now I know something's wrong with her. It hurts. Because there's something worry. in it. You'll be fine. Come on. It's let's totally go. fine. You have a massive embryo in your stomach, not even your uterus. Looks like all the city's trash has been dumped here. Yes, but I'm trying to pick this thing up. Thank you very much. I yeah, don't think about the thing in your belly. There's something creepy to me, probably because I have a baby bag. Of a baby being in me but not in my bag. That's gross. That makes me feel twisty inside. Get out of the way, kid. Ugh. Come on. Now she'll sit down for sure. I'll come get her when I'm done. Man, I can't outrun this kid today! Oh, I ran her. The Eco Metal. Look at this guy, man. He bit it hard. The corpse of a sewer maintenance worker. He's super bad. Sewer manager diary. June 28th. 
See, the best bits of this are in the things. I feel like if anyone who had attempted to tackle these games in another format, like particularly movies, had just played the games kind of or watched a walk or thing, but had actually, if they had nothing else, had sort of just read the files in each game, they would have had a lot more to work with and maybe worked with it. Uh, it's been a while, but I saw Don today and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much of a surprise given how long he's been working here. Yeah, <laughs> with the poo. He was sweating like a horse. Is that a term? I believe the term is sweating like a pig. But I don't know, do either of those perspire? And he kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. Lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible request. The chief has my sympathies, though. After all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. See, like that version of Irons where, like, to everybody else he seems like a pretty legit dude. But actually he's this slimy bastard that, like, went to the Happy Fun Island if he'd been cooler, but he wasn't. And that, you know, I like this version of the story. It's good, it's small, it's contained. It's just douchebags going back and forth in this building. July 23rd, for two, uh, 20 and the 1. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard ship. That's the best time to drink. But I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. No one has ever written that in their diary. Chief, <laughs> was that all for July 21st? Yeah. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. <laughs> but I mean, for all, with all he's done for the town, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is if th this is what it means for the chief to it, wait. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect. Yeah, so that guy became a opposite voter real quick. Twenty first, William, not even Doctor Birkin, informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. <sighs> So it's not just Chris. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation is concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. Okay, so maybe it does make sense then that Capcom decided to go with the whole, like, umbrella fell apart because they were being investigated. Uh, when it always just kind of felt like nobody would believe it. So yeah, she sits down and has a conniption. Um, and then I gotta go get her. But like, does that make sense? Just thinking. Yeah, I guess it does, but... I always liked the idea that it was just like nobody believed them and like just Chris and the uh, Chris and the guys fighting the good fight, just this ragtag team of good for nothing truth lovers who hate bioweapons working together. I just thought that was like a cool idea, but maybe that wasn't happening at all and I just missed it. Yes, I'll go up the ladder, absolutely. And try not to get stun locked. Alright, let's go kid. Oh, no roaches. Never mind. Take the kid with you. She keeps them away. This is the part where we pick up our feet and run. Oh, it's just zombies. Okay. Hey guys. Good kid. Come on. It's okay. The kid will keep up. She's, she knows what she's doing. It's just... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sherry Ann, 
Sharian, Sharian, player, 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 oh, spider shit. Whoa, that one almost left a little Morax poop on the Oh boy. Slam that shit in there, a la Resident Evil 1. See, I didn't know all that coming through. I finally got my hands on a copy of the first game. I was like, I know where that's from! Even though, like, you know, it's the opposite direction. I like that Sherry can't quite do it. I think that's fitting, as they say. Alright, now for some reason we're in the mountain. It's pulsating. We're really deep under. We're going to get deep under. I'm not sure what that room's supposed to be. And then I'm extra confused by this shit because weren't we just under the police station? And now I'm somewhere where I can take a mother flip a dippin gondola. And I'm not clear if the gondola is underground or in the sky. I think it's underground. In Remake it was underground, so maybe it is underground and I just didn't understand that. But as a kid I thought we were in this guy- well, as a- as a fully grown adult with a license and tax returns and all that jazz, I thought it was in the sky. I guess- because if it was underground, why isn't it a train, man? Like, you have trains in the underground, that's what we're gonna get out of here on. Why is it gonna be like this, man? I always thought that was a guy sitting right there. That's a whole different dimension to it that's freaking me out if ever- who- okay, hands up if you thought this was underground the whole time, and hands up if you thought that that was, um, in the sky the whole time. Now, if you didn't know that key was there, you could use the lighter to set off a flare and it lights up, but fuck that. Now, here's the other thing, too. We're now at a factory that does, uh, what exactly? I think it's the water treatment factory? I don't know. Which one is it? Oh, okay, turn around. So, we're just gonna hang out until some zombies come. We're just gonna go to the bar until the guys show up. Here's a cool shot now. I believe Oof, that the tracks for this are called the marshalling yard. I don't know what that means, or if that's just what they call this place. I don't know if that has meaning, but I have always wondered. And like, I, I don't understand- oh, I just found the hallways of the factor bar. I mean, I'm not anti-hallway or anything, but... Come on, man, what's going on here? Listen, dude, you're not gonna force me to come out. You're gonna come to me, cause I know eventually you'll wander onto my screen there, friend. I'm gonna shoot you down. I'm gonna need some caffeine, holy crap. I'm gonna shoot you around right in the tits. Cause I can't shoot you in the dick, so I'll just aim up a little bit. He can shot real good in the collarbone. I can hear the other one. Okay, sure, I stay here. Right in. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Like how when you spin in this area, you sort of bounce off stuff occasionally. Crazy. Oh, come on, dude. Run away. Run. Uh, Bam! Shoot you! Break your collarbones, make them fly out the backs of your shoulders like a bony spongy, pediculous wings. You'll see. Now this dude. This dude has a. should have a gun. This dude does not have a gun? Shouldn't this guy have the spark shot for me? The shotgun, uh, oh, shotgun attachment for him. Okay, sure, come on, I don't want to waste my bullets on this guy. I think he's gonna get up again. Let's go. Maybe it's the guy around the corner here who has 
use the spark shot. Which I don't use, so why am I so concerned about it? Move up a bit. Shoot him down. Murdered. Like, I almost feel like this area... Maybe... Like, I could see it having been something that they were like, Let's make it bigger, more expanded. And then it's like a bit that got cut. Because we really only see like a couple of hallways. We get a save room and then we're on a platform and we head down to the lab. Which, uh, not to be a dick or anything, doesn't show me much of this here disused factory as they call it. This is also just daytime to get rid of your bullets. Amen. I feel like he's got my spark shot down there. That I don't remember the one anyway. I need to collect them all. And yeah, he's dead. Is there another one down here? No, oh, just we! Am I nuts? Should the guy back the other way not have had the spark shot? Because I never, I, I usually skip, like, I don't, maybe I haven't been, I don't know where it is. I hear I've been like, oh, I've just been skipping it all this time. I won't skip it this time, but it wasn't there. Or maybe, I, no, it's pretty hard to miss. It's not like hidden in the corner. It's a two-slot weapon. But, whatever, I dicked it up, I guess. Okay. Oh, we don't need this. We do need this. Because it's boss time. It's... Boss time, gotta get ready for boss time. Oh, what, you don't like boss time? You're wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Boss time. Yeah. Let's do acid and boss time. Time to get kicked in the nuts in boss time. It's really good. Oh boy. Boss time. Were we fighting at boss time? We are fighting William Burkine today at boss time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, maybe we'll use explosive. Just put that filthy aid spray away. Yeah, that works too. F aid spray, filthy aid spray. That's what you are in these old games. You're filthy. You're trying to take my ratings away from me. Ain't no rating. There's a score. You know what I'm talking about. Ain't you don't you smart mouth me, V game. I'm gonna fuck you up. I like that there's a busted panel up there, and like maybe somebody went through there and they dropped some bullets. That's my favorite part. Come on, kiddo. Like, this is the marshalling yard. The factory map. Is our map? This is the thing we do together. Wow, what a map. This is the vacant factory? I don't understand. What is this thing on the turntable for the trains? And then like the the uh, the spheres in the background. I would be interested in the true geography of Raccoon City. I'm thinking it's a little bit nitty. Like why did I have to take a gondola all the way here? I like that they have a toilet on board and that somebody shot out flame grenades. That's the part I like the most. And that somebody, like, you gotta take this thing to work every day, but guess what? We've only got a bench. That's how long the trip is. Kid, I need you to get out of my way, babe. So here's how this works, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna put this here key. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm pushing the switch. 
That doesn't sound good. Let's get inside. Just maybe it's dangerous. Watch so. Can't be taking no kids on no dangerous train trips that go down. That's all right. Let's do it. Taking it more seriously. Oh no! Hang in there, Sherry. Holy crap! It's not it's cramps. Burning up. We've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. Maybe it is cramps. Who's that? So again, my question: If he's already implanted her, why why are we fighting at this point in the game? All right, kid, you stay there. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on. That's why we could do that. And access from outside would be prohibited. Why? For a limited time. So step out here and fight the boss for a limited time. Let's see how that goes for you. Alright. We're gonna fight Birkin, which was this was Claire's last fight in remake. It's uh it's the middle fight. Damn it. Uh, excuse me, my goodness. Okay, he's wearing his jeans. Club down. Who wants to get tickled? He's also got a vagina on his face. <laughs> I just noticed. Alright, this guy is a little bit of a bitch. I don't love this fight. He's hard to hit and it's hard to get the hell out of his way. Fix your ass pretty good. I think I'm pretty good. Um, maybe it's because I should not use explosive. Let's try fear. This is 100% okay, for sure easier than not doing it. Like, this isn't really that much of an issue in Audio Rank because you can just back up. Did I run? Oh, okay. Uh, and you can't do full loop. You need to sort of get the camera to sort of do this in a way that lends itself. To you actually hitting his head. Look at him, he's falling right out of his knees. Wait, you don't like that? That's not your thing. I sure hope you don't crawl off or anything into the darkness. I'm sure that's the last I'll see of you. Right? Okay, we made it. Now this is not necessarily the Sherry. bottom. Uh, 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 uh oh, I wish I'd taken nursing at university. Better yet, medicine. Molecular genetics, perhaps? Like what Claire's like, what the hell is this place? But I'll just go right into this office. This is good. Shaft type M. What does that mean? Those looks like the doors on the airplane so that you can get into the tiny, tiny pooper. I like the telephone. Wait for it. Claire? Yeah? Oh, well, this is going to be weird. I don't have that, that vest with me anymore. Isn't this... That's that okay. is mine. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. I'm supposed to be in a t-shirt right now. Thank you, Claire. Even though Imagine if I give I'm her this sick child, jacket. Neither of Dude. my parents ever spent much time with me. Your parents because of are dicks. their work. I grew up alone. I'm like nineteen, but kid, I don't now care. You're with me. I finally have someone to rely upon. No. Look at the size of the phone. <laughs> Listen, Sherry. kid, this is not the time. Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back. I didn't realize she as had I found the antidote for you. The slogan "Let me live" in here with this costume. I thought that was just something they made up for Code Veronica, just to differentiate it from the Maiden Heaven that she is supposed to have on her back. But I'm not letting her wear it. Um, 
Let's steal all their stuff. Especially that stuff. Steal it all! Make it your own! Take it for you! We got many rooms in here. Okay, so we don't need all this grass after all. I think we're good. I think I just got him a little carried away there. Uh oh, no, no, no! No! It's hard. You understand how hard I work to keep a clean box? Now oh, there's something to be taken out of context. I wasn't even done. Um, let's take this. No, that's what I want to keep. What am I doing? I want that. I want that. And I'll put this away. I don't want to put this away. What about that? No, I, I do want that. I don't want to be fancy with the the ivies who look. Oh, I do need that too. I don't, I don't often think about how much you need the lighter in Resident Evil 2, but let me tell you, on a Saturday, sorry, Friday night, when things just ain't right, you should be thinking about that. You need a lot. 